What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm really excited about this one. Today we're going to be opening the Arkham Knight Batman hot toy. Uh, this is the Arkham City hot toy and literally the only other Arkham figure they had made before this one. I know we're getting a Joker now, but I feel like Hot Toys really missed it with this line. I mean, Arkham Knight, Arkham City, Arkham Asylum, yeah, even Arkham Origins, I mean, for better or worse, but they gave us so many cool characters. I mean, look at Prime 1. They have been, they've built their company basically on the Arkham line with Transformers and all that. I know, I'm just saying, in a way, they've been give, like literally, they've been giving us every single Arkham statue and we're all buying them all because we love the style of Arkham. We we love it. I mean, you might not, but as a big Batman fan, I absolutely love the style of Arkham. Uh, I mean, I like all the other stuff too, but I would have loved to have seen a Harley Quinn hot toy, uh, Poison Ivy, a Killer Croc, a Mr. Freeze. I mean, everybody that is in those video games, give us a hot toy. All we have is the Joker coming. We have this Batman, which is super dope. I mean, from what I've seen, I haven't opened him yet. We get the Futura, if that's the way it was said, whatever. But it's like the the uh, uh, Batman Beyond kind of paint scheme to the same Batman. Uh, it's one of those variants. A lot of people hated it. Some people loved it or liked it. I don't know. I pre-ordered it myself. I thought it was pretty cool. I wish... Hot Toys would just give us each Batman skin, but more than that, well, maybe not more than that, but I want all the characters. I mean, this Batman, I thought this Batman was dope. He's got a really nice cape. This was our Arkham City Batman. And I mean, that was all, that was all it was. It, it began and ended right here with this one. I mean, we were all excited when they announced Arkham Knight Batman. Let's go ahead, let's get him open. Uh, let's open them up and we'll compare the two together and uh, yeah. All right, right here we got the Arkham Knight Batman. He's got one of these uh, open flat boxes, but we still have to take him out the top. Let's go ahead and get this little, let's get this cut open. This guy is going to be cool. I did not know he came with a backdrop, everybody. I probably just overlooked it. Look at that right there. Very cool. All right. Oh, wow. Look at all these gadgets we got right on the front. You know, it's a shame it's been so long since I've played Arkham Knight. But this is making me want to play it again. I mean, look at all these. Look at how cool this is. I wonder if they're, yep, they're functional. Oh, that's so cool. They slide back and forth. Very cool. You got these batterings. They don't fold up, but still. Is this, I believe this was the sound thing? I don't remember. It's been a very long time. I remember the explosive gel and all that, but. All right, let's go a little deeper into this toy. I 
I've seen a lot of people posting their pictures of him. I just didn't get a chance to do it because he came in right as I was leaving for vacation. All right, we got his little, sorry, the mouth remover. Or can you move his eyes probably too? I'm not sure, we'll find out. Let's take a look at the instructions right here. Mouth, tips of the cowl are very sharp. Here's where he does his little computer screen, how we can move him, sharp edges. We got the cape that there's metal wires embedded in it. We got the belt that it's non-detachable, don't try to take it off. We got how all the different attachments run with each of the pieces. Which hand to use as well. That's cool that they're doing that, I like that. Very cool. And the figure. Arkham Knight. All right. Oh, wow. Look at this, guys. This. That is cool. Look at that. Yeah, that looks way better on a white background. Right there. You see that? So cool. The Oracle. That right there is probably the coolest accessory. In my opinion, here's the mouth. We got the angry mouth, which is usually the best. Who doesn't like a Batman that's all angry? Apparently a lot of people. People think he should be funnier and whatnot, even though that's not what we know Batman to be. He's got his moments of humor, but other than that, we got all these nice different hands. It's got this nice blue sheen to it in the right lighting. Each hand that's going to hold something different. Here are the other ones. These are just different positions for the different accessories. Oh my goodness, this guy is shiny. Alright, let's check this cape real quick. Make sure how that's gonna come out. All right. Checking. All right, so should just pull up through from the right angle. There we go. Oh my goodness, you can see all these little details in his bat. Right there. There is the head sculpt. Look at that. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. His cape, it's like a thick leather. You can see all the little carbon fiber to his shoulder. Look at that, with a little tiny bit of battle damage. Look at those gauntlets. Oh wow, my uh, my Batman spikes here. Went right through the bag, that's why it's not coming off. They are sharp. This guy is so smooth everywhere. I mean, look at his abs here. You can see all the little details in him. He's this guy's probably more detailed than the premium format one we, or the uh, Prime One we opened a couple months ago. I mean, let's go ahead and show you what the back of him looks like. This is such a dope bat suit. Look at that. It is all hooked together. So, I never try to take mine apart. I know some people customize stuff. When I customize things, I like to just get a whole nether one to customize because I like to keep one perfectly uh, pristine. 
I like to keep them in original condition and whatnot, but oh my goodness, this Batman is incredible. Look at him. Let me hold him down here. Look at that. Very cool. It's very shiny. It'd be really cool if we could get a Bruce without all the armor on with his undersuit. Like in that trailer. Oh my god, that Arkham Knight trailer. It's probably one of the sickest things ever where Thomas Wayne's reading his last will and testament to Bruce Wayne, his son, when he's a very young boy. And we just get a silent Bruce Wayne standing there staring at all the things he needs to, like, just brooding in the darkness, I guess you could say. Look at this cape. Two different uh, texture patterns. This is insane. It just keeps unrolling. Just opens up more and more. This is a very, very cool figure. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's uh, take a look at some of these accessories now. Up close. So looking in the book. We got a couple. These are on like kind of like cords. If you would say. They basically are his grapple hooks. Sorry guys, it's not in focus. There we go. They'll hook right in the gun, the instructions were saying. We'll mess around with it. We'll get him posed up in a couple different ways. I love his grapple gun though. It's got that 89 look to it. Uh, Arkham series is just so well done, so beautiful. All right, guys, let's go ahead. Let's start posing him and messing around. You know him. what I think I forgot real quick before we get going? Let's go ahead and pull this stand out. A lot of people love to see those stands. Let's go ahead and get it unwrapped. And then we'll get posing. So that's hooked down. That is it. That is our stand. For the Arkham Knight. You know what? It's like looking at it through the camera actually brightens it a little bit. It's much darker. Right there. Arkham Knight Batman. Still got the protective uh, little tape over it. But all right. Now we'll pose him up. All right. So real quick, a little bit of testing. I was messing with him and I uh, slid his little computer, his little display into his arm as you can see it right here slides right in there it's pretty cool the only thing i noticed was it's hard to give him the illusion that he's looking down at it like from the side it looks like it but when you look at him kind of head on i don't know if you can really tell with his eyes but they're more looking kind of straightforward and his head doesn't really bend too far down with uh, everything that we've got going on. To me, that doesn't really take much away from the figure. I enjoy the hell out of him. I think he's beautiful. Let's go ahead and let's pop his head off. We got normal neck joint right here. Bends forward slightly. Right here is the hole where we're gonna pop this mouth out. Let's put the other one in. There we go, comes right out. Got a little bit of his nose. We can put the angry mouth in. Ooh, nice fit. Very good. Very cool. Angry mouth and uh, a resting mouth. I think I might do the rest face just because but for this video we'll keep the angry mouth in we'll compare it up with uh the arkham city figure right at the end uh we got all these different hands that we can try out with a couple different things i would assume this would be our battering hand right there fits right in it nice it's good pinch you can takes just a little bit to pull it out uh, probably put them up with some batterings. We got all these different types of grips to fit the different handles. Make sure 
sure with just a little bit we can get that right in there. Yep. Fits right in there. That's nice. It's really nice. Ah. I would assume a hand such as this would grip the grapple. Yeah, that's good. Look at that. It's a perfect grip we got on there. And we can switch this out with all kinds of different things. Here, pop this in. And we can add these ones right here. Uh, like they're flying. Let's go ahead and slide that it right out. Yep, there we go. Oop. Doesn't quite go all the way in on that one. Uh, maybe it's meant for the other one. Nope, they're the same. So I guess that's how it's supposed to be. Uh, very cool nonetheless. I'll tell you, I, I am in love with this figure. I am shocked how well he they did him. And uh, just how beautiful everything is. You get all these nice pieces. Uh, very cool. It's very, very cool. Uh, let's go ahead, we'll, let's get him side by side with our Arkham City figure. So right now we got the two of them together. We got Arkham City and Arkham Knight. Uh, I took them off their stands because their height difference in the stands was kind of, kind of made them look silly. You can see how uh, Arkham City was still with this old school uh, hot toy stand. And the Arkham Knight one is more of this new age uh, Star Wars style stand that we're getting with all the figures and uh, all the Suicide Squad, all of those. I believe it kind of started with Star Wars. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's not much to compare. The suits are completely different. Uh, his arms sit much lower uh, than this figure's. Uh, even with his arms pushed down, they still... Whoa kind of has some loose feet a uh, little bit of a standing problem let's go ahead pop him right back on his stand for this video's sake uh, anyway he uh he his lats and the way the suit sits doesn't really allow his arms to go all the way down i seen where a guy had once uh cut open the back of the suit and shaved his lats down to get the arms to sit better. I have not ventured into this. I'd probably buy a second one because I like to keep one of them pristine. But uh, anyway, his arms sit down much nicer. They sit way lower. Uh, he's got some stiff joints, really nice. Uh, I haven't really done extensive stuff with this Batman, but his legs are a little looser up here because the legs are separate and the ball joints are right up inside, as you can see right there but uh yeah i mean they got the same kind of angry face on right now it looks like uh batman got a tan in this one maybe uh arkham city was taking place in kind of uh the winter-ish it felt like i know arkham origins took place in the winter but anyway uh i mean the details on this figure are beautiful as I was showing you guys on earlier, you can see this little carbon fiber style look to his bat. Uh, just everything about him is good looking. I mean, to be honest, a back view. Very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, I also do have the Prime 1 statue to this figure. Um, it's actually sitting right over here by the TV, but, uh, anyway, guys, this has been my Arkham Knight video. 
I love this toy. I give it two thumbs up or 10 out of 10. I guess if you really wanted to get down to it, maybe he's not as maneuverable as he could be. Uh, he can't really look down at his screen, which that's not a big bummer to me. Everything fits in the hands good. He's going to be a really dope figure. He definitely has more posability than the Arkham City figure. Arkham City figure's dope, though. Ain't calling it down. I love the texture that we get on the Arkham City figure. So he's been a nice figure. Uh, more Batmans that they give us, I believe, is a win all around. But uh, anyway, guys and gals, uh, thanks for tuning in. I love all the love you guys have been giving me. Uh, go ahead and hit that like or subscribe button if you enjoyed this. Drop me a comment. I will get back to you. And it's been great, guys. Keep buying toys. Oh. <laughs>